Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. Welcome to Boost on the Ground. If you have anything you can add, send it to Southern Prepper One, Southern Prepper One, number one at yahoo.com. Please, in the uh, title, put Boots on the Ground. Uh, I got a lot of reports of crime in people's areas, uh, from just burglary uh, to assault, uh, and the list goes on and on. Um, a lot of people say their area is not as safe as it used to be, and I think this will just get worse. So I didn't include all of those reports um, because there's many. So be very careful out there and be proactive in your security. Greensboro, North Carolina. This is the Stephen Tanger Center for Performing Arts, and they will no longer be accepting cash. Um, you'll have to use credit cards or debit card or even Apple Pay. Uh, a lot of places are going to that. Uh, it is first easier for them to have to deal with cash and employees, but it's also creating an environment where it makes us used to just having a card and getting rid of cash. Cash is freedom. When you have the ability to use cash and not be tracked, no one knows what you're buying, uh, that's definitely more free than having the credit card company and the United States government able to see exactly what you're doing with your money. The uh, commercial real estate market is a disaster. Um, there is about... Uh, 1.5 trillion in commercial debt that is going to become due by the end of 2025. So when people need to refinance that, they will be borrowing money at much, much higher interest rates. And this is going to cause a lot of defaults. Defaults equal uh, economic hardship for all of us. This is from the Klausner. Uh, home furnishings and they are shutting down uh, they said that their leading source of funding their lending source um, is cutting them off so they're laying off a lot of people I think 1800 um, they have a revenue of about 488.8 million dollars and they've been here since 1963 so another company um, there is a lot of layoffs everywhere and it will only get worse this person said, my wife recently had back surgery at a major hospital in Northeast Florida. We got the bill today. Here's the breakdown. She checked in at six o'clock as required, was taken back to the uh, room and got prepped for surgery at about 6.15. Surgery began about 9.30 and lasted 1.5 hours. Was released at 20.00 later that evening. So total time under hospital care was 14 hours. The bill for the hospital, just the hospital, was in excess of $170,000. That's just the hospital bill. That works out to be $12,142 per hour. This does not include the surgeons who bill was in excess of $22,000 for, let's call it, 2.5 hours of work. We have yet to get billed for the other specialists that were involved. Uh, he says the medical system is seriously broken. Uh, just happy I had health insurance, but still, out of pocket, is going to cost him $10,000. Let's say you didn't have insurance. Uh, hopefully, they would give you a better deal. Um, but this bill, with probably all the other expenses added on, is way over $200,000. And that would financially bankrupt really anyone without health insurance. 3,000 U.S. personnel and arrived in the Red Sea aboard two warships. Um, these could be used to be placed on commercial tankers uh, because the Iranians have been seizing some or attempting to seize some over the last two years. Um, so this is good news for um, security for those tankers, but it also could cause a conflict point and a flare-up. Um, because we're there. So, just another indicator that the world is not a safe place. The Federal Reserve Governor Michael Bowman warned Monday that while the U.S. has made progress in bringing down inflation, additional interest rate increases will likely be needed. So every time they raise interest rates, it does put a strain on our bond market and, and government bonds. It makes us pay more in interest uh, and that interest payment is getting insane every year. Um, soon, we'll be paying more in interest. We might be at that point right now than we pay out to Social Security or we pay out to the military. I read an article 
one trillion dollars in credit card debt that we as americans have gotten into one trillion dollars the problem with this is a lot of these interest rates are going sky high 22 23 percent interest um, if you get into it too big that is almost impossible to get out because your interest every month will probably be more than your monthly payment Tyson Food is announced that they're closing four chicken processing plant, and this is so they can lower their cost. Uh, they're located in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, I think also in Indiana, there's one in Missouri, uh, maybe two in Missouri, and they're shifting production to other facilities. They're trying to cut costs. Um, they are trying to get more profi profi profitable. Um, so, that means definitely going to be higher prices for us and laid off workers. They said they laid off 15% of their senior leadership and 10% of their corporate workers in April. And this is, they say, because of steep inflation in labor, grain prices, and other inputs. This is from Tacoma, Washington. West Rock Company Paper Mill in Tacoma, Washington will permanently close in September 30th of this year. They say high operating costs and need for significant capital investment was really the two factors. Uh, they have, right now have over 400 employees and they will be getting uh, laid off very soon. This person said, I want to send a PDF service agreement it's two inches thick if you print it out from J.P. Morgan Chase. It states, I have to agree to the terms and condition of the service agreement in order to access my business account. I was totally locked out, went to Chase Bank, spoke to the manager, and she said, I have to agree to the terms of service or I cannot, I cannot access the account. Long story short, I closed the business account today. I'm a small company, but I hope that I can make a difference by letting people know, don't fall for this Fed now crap. If you've seen that Bank of America and JP Morgan no longer predicting the economy will head into a recession. Uh, I think I disagree with that, but we will see. Uh, CNN did a poll and they said that 34% um, of approve of how Joe Biden is handling the economy. So if only 34% approved, uh, there's a lot of people that know things are not right. The fifth, court, the fifth Court of Appeal on Monday blocked the Biden administration rule, making it easier to obtain debt relief for student loan borrowers who claim their schools misled them about the quality of education provided. So this is a second attempt that he is trying to do uh, to basically get rid of debt from students. And this comes from justthenews.com. So any time he gets rid of this debt... Uh, it's going to cost us, and his plan right there was worth $559 million. That would cost the taxpayers. Uh, I'm all for helping people. Um, I personally would say, hey, let's cut the interest rates down to zero. You have three years for the next three years. Zero interest. Pay as much as you can on your debt. This is a sad story. It comes from North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. A woman was accused of abandoning her newborn baby in the bushes. Uh, this lady is originally, or she is from Jamaica. She's 21 years old. She had a baby. She left it. Luckily, someone found the baby. Uh, I believe the baby's going to be fine. I'm trying to check on the status of this, but the baby was found alive. Uh, many states have laws. If you do not want your baby, you have a certain amount of time after birth to legally give the baby up to the state. Um, hopefully, more people will find out about this because South Carolina has that law. She could have dropped it off at a fire station and things would have been fine for her legally and it'd be much better for the baby so pray for this young child i don't know if it was a girl or a boy uh, she's starting into this world a little rough uh, hopefully she'll find a good foster care home or a permanent home uh, that will give her the love she needs uh, if you've been following the situation in Niger, this is in West Africa, uh, nations are picking sides. We have the United States on one side with France. You have on the other side, Russia and Wagner. Uh, so the area is very uh, not stable. So pray for peace in uh, West Africa. The uh, United States has been going to send additional destroyers up to Alaska because of the uh, Russian and Chinese ships. 
um, that are just uh, doing training up there, but they're usually not this close to Alaska. The, uh, Ukrainian uh, counteroffenses, they're complaining that they don't have the weapons, they don't have the ammunition, they don't have the supplies to effectively counter Russia. Uh, so they're asking for more, more, and more. I, I don't think at this point we give them anything, we'll help them. They are a destroyed nation, their military is destroyed, and there's no way for them to beat Russia. I saw an article that stated that uh, people in Congress want to, I think it was a thousand percent excise tax uh, on magazines, on guns, and they always come out every year with more of these, you know, illeg not legitimate uh, laws, uh, and they violate our Second Amendment. So, um, people in Congress are definitely wanting to take our rights. Do whatever you can to support. Join organizations that are very strong Second Amendment. And finally, the Ukrainian security services said that they had stopped an assassination plot against Zelensky. Um, they detained a woman who was working on a military base uh, and she was going to pass information to the Russians at the exact where Zelensky was going to be. Um, so I am mixed emotions. If he was gone, maybe the war would stop, the war would end. Or if he was gone, maybe NATO would jump involved and say, look, we have to get involved because Zelensky was killed. So I just pray that there will be peace over there. Uh, the people that are suffering are average men and women just like me and you. Thanks for watching.